You guys, it is um, Friday, June 23rd, 22.31, New York local time. And one thing that I want to talk about that's a big shift in mindset for me is um, it's going to be slow. It's going to be painstakingly slow. The grind. Um, when I first started trading, I treated it like a casino and I got burned like it was a casino and I've lost a lot of money trading way more than I'm willing to uh, admit a lot because I've always treated it like a casino and um, it's only been recently that I've started slowing down and I found a trading model that I use and I've mostly stuck to it and when I've stuck to it with the low leverage and taking it slow it has treated me well and you know one of the things that if you're coming into this um, I want to caution you with the prop firm accounts is um, they make it very easy I, I trade two prop firm accounts I trade uh, Apex and Top Step so I don't want you to think that I you know I'm saying don't do it because I do it myself they are they are a a cheap option to get a lot of trading practice in relative to to um, you know going and blowing your own cash but if you don't have a trading model if you don't have a professional mindset if you don't have a grind set you are you're just gonna blow through a bunch of resets anyways and you'll end up probably blowing as much cash as you would on a live account anyways um, this is a daily, a weekly, doesn't have to be every day, but it's a long-term grind. It's a profession. It's a career. It's not get rich quick overnight, and that's how I was always treating it. And I'd be a lot richer right now had I never treated it that way. And so there's going to be times where you're going to see a setup in the market and you want to take it real heavy because you're real confident about it. And that's that's when you're going to blow your account. You have to take it slow. You must. You have to take it slowly, slowly. One contract. Believe me, one NASDAQ contract, if you hold it throughout the course of a day, can make you way more money than most of your salary jobs. Okay? That's one contract. One ES contract can do the same, okay? And when you trade a, like an Apex account, so I trade the 300K simulated account, Apex allows you 35 contracts. Guys, that's casino. That's, that's, uh, that's going to blow out your account in five minutes. Uh, well, less than five minutes, probably instantly. You will, if you try to trade 35 contracts, uh, which is what Apex allows you on the biggest account, that um, you're gonna meet, you're gonna blow out immediately. No, no mercy. Whatever you um, think is a reasonable number of contracts to trade, you have to trade less than that, and it's painstakingly slow. And it's slow, and and it's um, it's you can't measure. I thought I could measure these things in terms of minutes and days. It's measured in terms of weeks and months. That's what it is. And if you really want to do well with these, with your own cash account or with these prop firm accounts, believe me, they know the statistics. They know what their business model is. And they know that 78%, so top steps pass rate is 22%. 22%. 78% of the people who will try a top step account will blow it. And I've blown many top step accounts. I've been funded once. I lost it because I didn't have a model. I wasn't treating this like a profession. I wasn't treating the market with respect. I wasn't taking it slow. You must put your ego aside. It's like when you go train martial arts. When you go train martial arts, the first thing that they're going to tell you at the studio or at the dojo is leave your ego at the door. 
you go first train judo, you go first train jiu-jitsu, boxing, you're going to get the shit beaten out of you. A lot. And it's only through months and months and years of training that you'll actually master the craft. Because martial arts is very difficult. Trading is the same way as martial arts. No matter how painful it is, my friends, to trade small, to leave your ego at the door, you have to do it. You must do it. You slowly grind up the equity in your account. Okay? And, you know, believe it or not, when you, when you under leverage and you trade fewer contracts and you, and you stick to your setup times and you take parcels and you get out of the market at, at very reasonable spots, you'll end up running up your equity a lot more than you thought. Okay? Way more than probably what you're making at your job. Way more than probably what you could even you could make as many professions. You have to trade very modestly compared to the capital that you have. These markets move a lot and they are highly leveraged and they will burn you quickly, within seconds, instantly. Okay? The second that you take a trade, if you enter at the market, <clears throat> you're 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 already you're already in a loss. It's a slow process, and you have to trade very small relative to whatever equity you have. And you grind it up, and you grind and grind and grind, and it's going to be painstakingly slow. And oh, how I have learned that now, and I'm very poor right now, and I have to keep my spending to an absolute minimum, and it's painful. Because I want to go buy things, and I can't. The only money that I spend right now is on food, gas, and my prop firm accounts. That's the only thing that I will allow myself to spend on. And that's it. That's all. I'm living on nothing. And yet I can see, I can see running up, I ran up 10,000 fake dollars today. And that, and that was trading very small compared to, guys, top step apex, I'm trading the 150k account. I'm nearly funded again. Might be able to get it in next week. They allow you to trade 15 fucking contracts. Guys, you don't need to trade 15 contracts. You need one NASDAQ contract, maybe two ES. Like, that's it. You, you know, one gold contract. Gold can run so much. It's $10 a, a point on gold. And these and gold is regularly making $14, $15 fifteen dollars in movement guys that's fifteen hundred dollars of movement on one gold contract look at that we're going to switch to regular trading hours it's ten fucking dollars um yeah let me, let me just make sure that I'm right about that it's a hundred dollars a point let's just get out my calculator It's ten dollars a tick, guys. It's ten dollars a tick, a tick, a tick, a tick. And look at gold. Look at the movement that it had today. Look, look. You get in at the top. You hold it for the bottom. It's 166 points. It's 1,660 dollars in a day. Are you making that in a day at your job? Are you making that in a day, doing whatever the fuck you're doing? Probably not. Odds are no. So you don't need to trade two gold contracts. Trade one. Crude oil. Crude oil. Look. Crude oil. $10 a tick. $10 a tick. Okay, and crude oil is regularly making... Look at this Look at this move from open up into the resettlement gap. Look at that. 163 pips. That's $1,630 in a day. Okay, if you get really good at this, if you get really good at your entries and you're and you're risking very small amounts of money in terms of your entries, the equity can run up fast on small positions. But your risk of ruin is huge if you over leverage, okay? You only This is what I never understood and I'm hitting at 70% strike rate. And historically I've hit at about 70%. I've always over leveraged and it's been the number one thing. The number one thing is my over leveraging that has ruined me. Because I can hit the market again, time and time again, and trade well, and trade well, and still 
not have anything to show for it. All those profitable trades because one or two bad trades I'll over leverage and I'll throw it down the drain. One bond contract. Okay. One. It's one thirty second. It's sixteen dollars and twenty five cents a tick. I believe. Okay. Oh, it's thirty one dollars and twenty five cents a tick, I guess. It's thirty one dollars and twenty five cents a tick. A tick. Tick? One tick? Guys. I saw this move up last night in bonds, I called it. Look at that what that move was. It's forty seven ticks. Let me put that in real terms. Thirty one dollars twenty five cents. Let's see. 47 ticks times $31.25. It's $1,468. And guys, if you get in here at the very bottom, in terms of your prop firm accounts, you're risking very little. That's what you have to do. You trade very small, one contract on these. Okay? It's the ES, maybe trade two. It's the YM, maybe trade two. Russell 2000, maybe trade two. Any of these, like the Euro Futures, I think is $6.25 a tick. Uh, let's see here. It's, yeah, it's a little bit less with the one, four, five times 125,000. $6.25 a tick. So you could reasonably trade two Euro, Euro, con Euro Future contracts. My point being, guys, is that if you have a model, like my model, that hits at about a 70% strike rate, and I believe I can do even better than that. I really do. I believe I can hit 80%. One contract is all you need. Some of these Euro futures, Japanese yen futures that are $6.25 a tick, two contracts. The, these are very, very, very highly leveraged. Okay? Because huge institutions with billions of dollars in clients' funds are, are trading these. These are not markets that are designed for your average Joe. They're designed for big companies that are trading client funds. You don't need to trade five NASDAQs. You go and buy an Apex Trader funding account, or you go put in whatever amount of cash you have in a, in a trade station account. Okay. Look, you will feel more comfortable in your trades. You will feel like you can hold them on longer. You won't feel as much anxiety. You won't feel that blushing in your face. It's not an ego contest. Is anyone going to fault you if you make $1,600 in a move that you could reasonably foresee in a day? Okay? Five, listen, you make a five-tick move on the ES. It's 50 times five. It's $250. And it can move five points okay in five minutes guys that's way better than a lot of people are making on a daily basis two hundred fifty dollars that's that's an that's fifty thousand dollars a year annualized okay and that's one five handle move and these things are moving up and down 20 30 handles points in a session in in five minutes you don't need to trade more than one contract I, I can't believe I never saw this before, and I've always, this is what has killed me, is the over-leveraging. Take it slow, take it slow, take it slow, run up your equity slowly, all right? With minimal leverage, one contract at a time. Some of these futures, con some of these Forex contracts, okay, trade two. Gold, I think silver, what is silver? Let me see what this is, a tick. It's $5,000 a point, a dollar, by the way. 0 0.005 times 5,000. Uh, that can't be right. It's not that. 0, 0.5 times 5,000. No, it is. It's $25 a tick. It's $25 a tick. Okay? And look at this move in silver just from top to bottom. 80 pips. 80 pips. $2,000 of movement right there. $2,000 in 
Oh god, this is what let me see what amount of time this is. This is this is literally nothing. It's two thousand dollars worth of movement in two in two hours and twenty minutes. Are you making two thousand dollars in in two hours and twenty minutes in your current job? I doubt it. Maybe, probably not. Probably not listening to this video if you do. Are you making that? Probably not. So when you go and trade top step, or you go and trade apex, or you go and trade earn to trade, or trade day, they're going to give you way more contracts. They're going to allow you to trade way more contracts than you need. Way more. Apex lets you trade 35 on a $7,500 trailing drawdown. That's insane. That's, that's asking you to fail. That is tempting you to fail. I'm not going to lie. That's what it's doing. And top step with 15 contracts on $3,000 of daily drawdown. Guys, you should never be, even be getting close to $3,000 worth of drawdown. So you take it slowly. You take it uh, one contract at a time. You work up from there. And it's still, if you're taking it slowly and you have this entry model and you have a game plan and you have a model that is profitable, over time, you will grind up your equity way more than probably any job that you've had before or ever will have. And that's taking it one contract at a time. So I, whatever leverage that you think is, is over leveraging, like cut that by like one tenth. So you're trying to, you know, Apex lets you trade 35 contracts. How about you trade uh, five at once diff across different products? That's it. Okay. So maybe you have to run in for your account. You've got to pay for it for two months. Off, you know. Okay, that's fine. Top step, you've got to you have to pay for two months. You don't get funded for two months, three months. Okay, it's a few hundred dollars. Not that bad. All right, probably pay that off with a pay that off with a credit card, or you get a low APR loan. Whatever you have to do. And you pay that you pay that off slowly, and you'll be glad that you never you don't even want to come close to your trailing drawdown. You don't even want to flirt with it, and that's what I've always done is over leveraged. And when I took and I finally was responsible today, my best trade today by far. So I got short the Nasdaq one contract here. I showed it here earlier on a video. I got the short the NASDAQ one contract here. I covered it down here. That was 2,000 fake dollars. Okay. 2,000 fake dollars, and I was asleep for most of it. Six hours and 35 minutes. Are you making $2,000 in six hours? Probably not. Probably not. And I did that while I was asleep. Now, yes, it was fake money, but the, the principle would be the same. And I took my risk was probably, oh, Lord, what was my, my risk was like nothing. 46 times uh, 11.50 times 20. I took $230 worth of risk, and I got a trade of $2,000. Guys, that's how you do it. Okay, you trade small, you grind up slowly, and it's going to be painful. It's going to be very painful. It's going to be very, very painful. You're going to want to get there. You're going to be looking at your funded account challenges, and you're, you're going to want to be there so quickly and oh the impulse control the impulse control and the patience that you need to watch your account slowly go up and you're getting close to that profit target and you're almost funded it doesn't matter okay there's a reason why top step will publish 78 percent of the people who try it fail and i probably apex is about the same 90 percent of day traders fail 95 percent and I'll tell you exactly why. You don't know, and I didn't know, what it means to be reasonably leveraged. How leveraged these markets are. They're not designed for the individual day trader. They are designed for huge banks, huge companies, hedge funds, firms. They're designed for people with clients' monies in the millions of dollars. That's what they're designed for. That's why they're so leveraged. They are not designed for you with $5,000 or $1,000 or a few hundred dollars. That's not what they're designed for. So when you come into these markets, you've got to know what the leverage is. 
And you got to know that this thing, if it moves 156 and a half points, guys, that's $3,130 worth of movement on the NASDAQ, and it does that regularly in one day. Natural gas. Let's take a look at this move in natural gas and just give you some perspective. Okay, natural gas. It's $10 a point. Okay, $10 a point. It went up 121 ticks. That's $1,210 of movement in natural gas. This movement right here. Get in our AM silver bullet. Get in somewhere around here. We let this thing run. Okay. 184 points. It's $1,840 and you made it in the course of a few hours. Okay. That's enough. You do that year if you do that months on months and months on end if you take math the, the math is on your favor if you under leverage look at this look gave you one thousand eight hundred fifty dollars in four hours and ten minutes look at how many of these products offer you those kind of returns if you know what you're doing and if you trade small on one contract one contract look at how fast you could become a millionaire I'm not saying that you will become a millionaire but what I'm trying to say is that the mathematics there are 250 trading days. Okay? I think that includes market holidays. If you were making a fraction of what these markets offered, you quickly would run up into hundreds of thousands of dollars. And with not relatively not that much risk. The only way that you can do that is to put your ego at the door to stop caring what other people think. Don't, you know, gives a fuck if somebody else is trading 20 contracts. If you see Michael Huddleston on his simulated account, who, believe me, he's my mentor. I love him. But you're not trading 25 contracts, and he'll tell you not to trade 25 contracts. And when you watch these YouTubers that are day traders and they're trading, you know, five, six, seven ES contracts at a time, you don't need to be doing that. All right? And they're taking one tick scalps. Guys, we're not looking to take one tick scalps. We're looking to take out huge chunks of the market, big moves. All right? That's what we're looking to do. And the only way that you're going to be comfortable doing that is if you're trading small. Let me just, you know, the last thing. Most of the YouTube influencers that you watch are full of shit. I think a lot, some of them are okay. I think Trades by Matt is reasonable. I think Patrick Whelan is reasonable. I think that, obviously, I like uh, Michael Huddleston. But a lot of them, these jokers out there, are full of shit. They've been sued by the SEC before. They've been, they've been fined. Their companies have been fined. And you can't trust them. And you shouldn't trust them. All right, when you see guys that are trying to hold on trades, they don't take profit. You know, they're trying to they're trying to show off for the just like Michael talked about today. They're trying to show off for the rest of you. That's not good trading. Good trading is trading small, trading professionally, trading over time, running up equity, grinding up equity, grinding slowly, 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 grinding up equity over time. That's what you should be watching day in and day out. Not to think like I have before and I've lost a lot of money thinking this way this is not a slot machine okay this is not a slot machine and if you tr your, your prop firms want you to treat it like a prop believe me your prop firms every time that you click the reset button and you pay for a reset they don't care they're happy to they're happy to take your money why not they're happy to take your 50 bucks the 78 percent of the people that try fail okay and then the the 28 percent that do succeed the ones that failed end up paying out their payouts. You don't want to be the ones that are paying the resets. You want to be the one that's getting the payout. And you're not going to get there if you're over leveraging. And that's what I've had to learn and it's painful, painful. Very painful. Painstaking. Painstaking to learn the lessons that the market teaches. Russell 2000 moved down 30 points. That's $50 a point. That's $1,500 of movement. Okay, $1,500. Learn the leverage on these. Learn, learn the real dollar value of what these moves are in these markets that they're regularly making. We're in a high interest rate environment. Learn what they really mean. 29 ticks on the bonds. Multiply that by $32.50. It's a lot. It's a lot of movement. It's a lot. Okay? And that's just the daily range. That's, that's not counting the intraday volatility. That's not counting the full swings. These markets move a lot. They're highly leveraged. We're in a high interest rate environment. You've got to lower your leverage. You've got to take it slowly, slowly. 
and do treat your simulated accounts like you do. So you go and you buy an Apex account. Apex is running a 90% off sale. Do you know why they can run a 90% off sale? Because I guarantee you 90% of the people that are trying Apex are failing and I'm shilling it. I'm trying to advertise it to you. But they know. They, they know why they can have 90% off sales all the time and because they know that 80%, 90% of the people that go on there are going to blow. They're going to get a big 35, 35 contract. Oh, I can trade 35 contracts. Therefore, I will trade 35 contracts. No. You trade one contract, two contracts, like one contract per position, and you take it slowly, slowly. And you have a model that produces mathematically proven results over time. And the math will make you a millionaire over time, over time, over time. You can make, if the, the mathematics on day trading are very simple. If you have a profitable model and it is consistently returning you returns and you keep your risk of ruin to a minimum that means that you have your you are not risking your account meaning that you can continue to trade and you're trading at a 70 to 80 percent strike rate you're trading with a profitable model you will eventually make one million dollars that's my goal my goal is to make one million dollars trading okay and potentially more but it's going to be a long time before I get there I know that it's probably going to be years years okay my goal is not to trade these prop firm accounts for my life. My goal is to trade my own fucking cash. But I have not had the discipline and I've had and I've over leveraged and I have not had a model and I've blown my own cash and that's why I had to go for the cheaper option because I blew it. Because I blew my own fucking cash like $10,000. That's why. But now I'm here and now I have a model and now I know that the math is on my favor and now I know what the leverage on these products really looks like. It's $25 uh, a tick on silver futures. 25 fucking dollars. That might be, listen, minimum wage, so, like most people are making about $15 an hour. Bro, that's one fucking tick. It's one tick. It's one tick and these things are moving, silver might move down a whole fucking dollar in a day, two dollars in a day. Crazy. Okay? Just, you need to put these things and how leveraged these products are into perspective and the clientele that these products are actually geared towards and it's not you so with that being said whatever leverage that your prop firm is providing you and I have my affiliate links in the description box below trade way less than that way 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 less like a small fraction top step allows you 15 contracts trade three apex allows you to trade 35 contracts trade five okay and if you take it slowly, slowly, and you have a model that's profitable, you will get there over time. It's going to be painful. It's going to be slow. You're going to fuck up. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to get impatient. You're going to fall into impulse. You probably still will over leverage, even after I'm telling you that you should not over leverage. You don't even know. I didn't even know what under leveraging meant and how little that actually means. <laughs> like one contract, that's proper leveraging until you have like $100,000. Uh, maybe more. You you shouldn't even be, if you're on the NASDAQ and you're trying to trade a 1% risk, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, if you don't have $100,000, you, you, you probably should just trade one contract because you're trying to trade 1% risk, one contract, and you have $100,000. That's really what good risk management looks like. It's so much less than you think, so much less than I thought, and that's going to be the lesson of this video. Whatever, whatever appropriate leverage that you think is appropriate, the real appropriate leverage is a small, tiny fraction of that. And it's going to take a long time. But if the math is in your favor, if the model is in your favor and the Lord is with you, you will get there over time. Okay. Uh, I wish you the best, Lord's blessing, on all of you. Um, my Top Step and Apex uh, affiliate links are in the bottom. If you are interested in a TradingView subscription, I have my TradingView affiliate um, in the TradingView refer a friend also in the description. I think that they give you $15 if you use my link. Um, so it does give you a bonus as well. If you are interested in using, uh, I have a TradingView Pro account. Um, so if you want to uh, get a TradingView Pro account so you can have more charts on the thing, have more symbol lists, all that good stuff. Um, I recommend a pro account on TradingView. I love it. TradingView is the platform that I use. And uh, one day I hope to get an affiliate with uh, get an affiliate with um, 
TradingView. I love TradingView. I love their product. I love their charts. I love everything about TradingView. It's the number one platform that I would recommend trading on. Um, I'm just going to be honest with you, and I'm not paid to say that. Um, so my refer friend on TradingView is in the description box below. And just remember, take it slowly, slowly. Bye-bye.